All right, guys, today we are going to be painting for our pinwheel project. Make sure that your first name, last name, room number, and blue or gold is written small along an edge. And then we're gonna paint the opposite side. So I have them flipped over so that my name's now on the back. Okay, so for paints, um, the, the painted side of your pinwheel is going to be your positive emotions, right? So those feel good emotions and you want to be visually expressing those. And so um, since they're the positive emotions, I've given you guys some um, bright uh, fluorescent colored paints. And um, I also have some really interesting tools for you to use that you're, you're probably not used to using. Uh, I will allow you to grab a brush if you'd like to use a brush as well. And then I have some stamps. I have all different stamps, depending on where you're seated, you'll have some stamps on your tray of supplies. Uh, these are really cool to, you know, stamp and paint. And then I have, these are similar to stamps except they're rollers. And you can see that there's a texture that will show up whenever you roll it through a little bit of paint and then onto your paper. Um, you may or may not get some sponges to do some sponge stamping. These are paint combs. So you'll put a little bit of paint down on your paper and then you can comb over top of it and it will leave a really cool um, texture in the paint. And then these are a similar idea, but you can just do it uh, instead of like, you know, eight lines all at once, you could just do one line over top. So um, let's get to it. The number one tip that I have for you guys when you are painting is less is more. Don't overdo it and do like 50 different things to one piece of paper because it will just end up a big muddy mess. So pick maybe like three to four colors and maybe three or two um, different supplies that you wanna use. Do that and then stop. A good artist always knows when to stop and sometimes that's really hard to figure out but if you just keep going and working the same paint into your paper over and over and over again like i said it will become a big muddy mess all right so here's one that i just did just with a brush Nothing really exciting on that. All right, for this one, I'm gonna try to use some stamps. And when you stick the stamps into the paint, use just a little bit of paint. If you use too much, it'll just end up being a big blob on your paper. Remember, less is more. Let's see, I'm gonna also try out the roller. So I'm gonna roll the, um, the roller in just the tiniest bit of paint. And I'm gonna roll it here on the paper plate just to try to get some paint evenly across it. And then once I have that, I'm gonna roll it across the surface of my paper. So less is more. You can see I got that star pattern on there. All right, for my third one, I'm gonna try one of those paint combs. Maybe I'll even use a couple of them. And first I'm gonna apply some paint with my sponge. So I'm just gonna dab in like a little bit of paint. And you can see it stamps on that texture and then I'm just going to take the same sponge into some blue paint and I love the texture that it made it looks super cool so I don't want to take away all of it I'm just going to add um, set this aside I'm just going to take the paint comb and then maybe just in one corner, paint and you can see it leaves this really super neat pattern in there. 
And then, you know, every single paint comb is different. So you can see like the yellow on the edge of the yellow one's different than the blue one. So it's gonna leave a slightly different mark. And so I'm gonna go from here down. And these lines are just like a little bit skinnier that I left. And then I think maybe I'll take this guy here and I can just add some marks. All right, so when you're all finished, you are most likely going to have quite a mess at your table. So you wanna make sure that you get a sponge and clean up your mess. And when you get your sponge, if it's soaking wet, go back to the sink, squeeze out the whole thing in the sink, and then you can come to your table and wipe this up. If you don't squeeze all the extra water out of your sponge, you end up making a bigger mess at your table. So then you can either let this air dry, or if it's a lot of water, you can grab a paper towel and wipe it down. Your paintings can then go onto the drying rack, and that's it for class.